To add a font to your game, you can use the resource drop down menu and click on Create Font, Shift Control F. Or you can click on the Create Font button on the toolbar, or you can right click on the font folder in the resource tree and select Create Font. Now you'll see the Font Properties window. The first thing you can do is name your font. As with all naming conventions, you want to use a prefix. You can use the word font, you can use FNT, just the letter F, either way, something to let you know that this is going to be a font. Then name your font, either after an underscore or using a capital letter, whatever you need to do. Just below that, you'll find a font drop-down menu. Here you should find every font that has been installed on your computer. All you need to do at this step is select any font you want to use and put into your game. To the right of this you'll find a field that says Hello World. This is an editable text field. You can write whatever you want here to preview your font. Back on the left side and just below you'll find the Style section. You'll find a drop down menu called Anti-Aliasing. There are four options, Off, 1, 2, and 3. The higher the anti-aliasing, the more smoothed out the edges will be on your font. The anti-aliasing options won't take effect in this menu. You'll have to preview it in your game to see the differences. If you find that your font is too jagged, just crank up the anti-aliasing to 3. However, if you're looking for that retro look, and your font is supposed to be jagged, just turn off anti-aliasing. Below anti-aliasing, you'll find the field for size. Here you can set the size of your font in points. The default is 12. You can also select whether the font will be bold or italicized. There's something to understand about fonts in a video game. On your computer, fonts are vectored. This means that you can scale the font to any size you want, and it will always look crisp. This is because fonts are not rasterized, they are vectored. Rasterized images are pictures made up of tiny dots called pixels. Vector images work with lines that create objects that are filled in with a solid color or a gradient. This is how font works. Fonts operate with an outline and then are filled in. However, in Game Maker, your fonts become rasterized. That means each character is made up of pixels. Therefore, your font cannot be scaled infinitely and always look crisp. This is important to understand when you set the size of your font. You want to pick the size you're definitely going to use in your game, give or take a little bit. You can always scale your font in your game, just keep in mind that it will change the integrity of the image. Each character of your font will become one single image on your texture page. To understand this further, on the right you'll see a box that is defaulted to 32 to 127. These numbers mean the range of characters to use from that font. On the right of that box, you can actually see the range. 32 to 127 goes from the exclamation mark to the delete character. It's just beyond the tilde. However, if you're creating something like a high score, you might not need all these font characters. Remember, each character becomes an image on your texture page, which takes up more space for your game. This creates a larger file size. So if you wish to save space, and this is a little more advanced, you can click one of the buttons at the bottom. You have a plus sign, a minus sign, and a clear all button. This allows you to change the range of your font. Press the clear all button, and then press the plus button. Now we've brought up the font range window. From here you have a lot of cool options, and it's kind of fun to play around here. The first section has two font fields. Currently it should be set from zero till zero. That means there are no characters. Below that you have four buttons, normal, digits, ASCII, and letters. Let's play around by clicking on them. If you click the normal button, you'll get 32 to 127. This is what GameMaker defaults to, and it's what we just cleared out. It's a fairly decent range for fonts, but let's say you were just making a high score out of this font. Then you could click on the button marked Digits. This will change your range from 48 to 57. This makes it so the font only has the numbers 0 through 9. What this means is that the digits 0 through 9 are the only characters that'll take up space on your texture page. Conversely, you can click on the button marked Letters. Now you only get the alphabet, with a few extra characters. This is range 65 to 122. This might be okay for writing down the word high score, or using narration in your game, however it does lack a few punctuation marks, but we can always add them. Above that you can click on the button marked ASCII. This is the range 32 to 255. This is probably excessive for your game. 
Unless your game is in another language other than English, you might not need to use the characters with accents. Your game also might not use the cent sign, or the pound, or yen, or even the copyright symbol. Therefore, this is too excessive for your game, and you can change the range. On the right side, you'll find two buttons that say From Code and From File. If you click the From Code button, GameMaker will look through all of your strings. These are sections where you actually use font in your game. GameMaker will look through that, find which characters you use, and then only create that range. It's a great button to press when your game is pretty much ready to go, and you just want to clean up and remove any characters that are unused. Below that, the button called From File does the same thing, but instead reads from a text file. Most of the time, you'll do alright with either the button Normal, Digits, or Letters. If your font size isn't too large, this doesn't take up a lot of space on your texture page. However, if you do run into problems with your texture pages, here is one section you can clean up. 